follow him. After all, I really need a job. We make our way up to the second floor balcony, which, except for us, is only occupied by those amazing looking cakes in the display case. <laughs> oh, those do look good. I wonder if I can get a slice on my way out. Graves leans down over the balcony of the cafe and raises his voice to the people below. Or to the cats, I guess, since cats are the only thing I see from here. Hayes, will you get us some coffee? Is that the chef? I haven't seen anybody here besides him and Landry. Oh, I, I already had a cup. Is that going to stop you from another? You can't have enough coffee, especially when Hayes is the one making it. I don't think I met Hayes. You may have. You may not know yet. Graves folds himself into the slender chair at the corner table. He pushes the opposite chair away with his foot, nudging it just enough to t turn it towards me. That's kind of rude, though. Like, if someone did that to me in, like, uh, an interview, I'd be kind of like, this is really unprofessional. <laughs> like, you can't even, like, pull my chair out or let me get it. Gotta nudge it with your foot. Like. Anyway. Come on, sit down. Let's talk. You don't have to be so stiff. <laughs> He's so edgelord, I know. <laughs> I know, the cheekbones, look at them. You don't, <laughs> you don't have to be so stiff. Your views are boring. Make it interesting for both of us. Ho ho ho! N no pressure, huh? Grave sits with a sort of grim pomp, like he's sitting in a skull throne. Sitting, yeah, sitting. Be sitting on a skull throne? Or in? Anyway, a raven's going to land on his shoulder at any time. Maybe it's li more like he's about to roll a die with lots of sides. Haha! <laughs> D and D. Got the reference. Got the reference. <laughs> That's an asshole. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I bet he's a nerd. Who wrote this? Migu? Migu, did you write this? I take the seat across from him. Just so you're aware, we aren't starting without coffee. Er, er, okay. You can talk, of course. I'm, I meant the interview. Okay. Out of the corner of my eye, I noticed the tiny slip of a blonde man standing at the balcony entrance. Ah! I jump a little. When did he get here? I didn't hear anybody come up the stairs at all. Oh, look how sad he is. Look at this nervous like a little one. This guy ghost? Grave looks like the type to hire ghosts. <laughs> looks terrified by my shout. Oh no! You upset him! Yes, it is a dating sim. <laughs> I think I scared him more than he scared me. Gingerly, he sets two mugs in front of Graves. Thank you, Hayes, but you should give Avery the other mug. He sounds like he's reminding a child to say thank you. Which is difficult. Don't even get me started about my job. <laughs> uh, of course. Just wait. Just wait, Angie. Hayes glances up at me. Our eyes meet for a millisecond before he f suddenly finds something very important to focus on downstairs. He pushes the cup towards me without looking back. And we can't even date, um... <laughs> we should have partnered with him. Why did you listen to me? <laughs> or why did I listen to you? Well, eh. So, okay. I've seen two characters we haven't met. I've seen their playthroughs. And I've seen Landry's, or Laundry's, <laughs> as we're going to call them now. Laundry's uh, playthrough. And Graves, you can't date unless you've dated everyone. So I will probably play through like maybe one person today, one or two people. I might come back tomorrow and do it. We'll see. We'll see how long we go. And then um, later I'll come back and do Graves on stream. Um, okay. Hayes glances up at me. Our eyes meet for a millisecond before he suddenly finds something very important to focus on downstairs. He pushes the cup toward me without looking back up. Er, thank you? Graves' Graves' rings. Graves' 
Graves rings. Ring. Guys. <laughs> Clacks against the porcelain of the cup as he takes a drink. Perfect as always. I don't know what I'd do without your coffee. What I did not do without your coffee. It's nothing special, really. He talks like it's the first time he's spoken today. Quiet and a little hoarse. <laughs> Grey's ring ring. <laughs> That's all. I'll go back to the cats. That's fine. Hayes slips down, back down the stairs just as quietly as he arrived. That kid would make a great ninja. Totes my goats. I look down at the coffee. <laughs> no, it's so cute. I look down at the coffee and see a sleepy cat face staring up at me from the foam. Look at that face. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I've only ever seen latte art on the internet before. I've never had latte art. I'm jealous. I've only ever seen... Did Hayes really do this? I take a sip. It's not bad if you like coffee, I guess. But it could really use some sugar. Girl, you better like some coffee. You're working at a coffee... Ugh. She don't understand. <laughs> there are packets on the table, but I can't bring myself to ruin the foam cat. Now we can get this going. Let's interview. I'll even start off easy. What's your favorite breed of cat? Russian blue? Is that an option? Oh, f fine. That's a manx. Tuxedo cats are so cute! Okay. Charlotte was a tabby. Um... Siamese are really, really cute. Guys, help me pick. My cat would be Mochi. At home. Mochi's a little stinker head. So. So, well, I don't know. What, guy, what should we do, guys? There's that burp from earlier. Cats! Stump, leg, oh, tails. <laughs> Angie, you're the best. <laughs> um, no, I don't want to pit Manx. Okay, okay, I'm a. I'm gonna do Siamese because Siamese. Honestly, I love Siamese. I think they're so pretty and so cool. But Scottish Fold have the little tiny ears. Alright, Siamese. We'll do Siamese. Okay. Do you know any other languages? How about ciphers? I don't know ciphers. I don't know what this says. Angie, can you read it? Oh, wait, no. Is that Japanese? <laughs> no, that's not Japanese. I speak the language of dance. That's Chinese. It is- oh, it is Japanese? Okay. No, can't speak. Alright, I'm just right now. What marine animal would you say best represents you? This is- okay. When I first was watching this, I was, like, laughing so hard because this is a reference to Free, if you guys have seen that anime, um, with the swimmers. It's, like, super dramatic for no reason. Um, but I might pick Penguin. Because cause if you look marine animal, butterfly doesn't fit. But there's a character on there that's, um, is butterfly. Okay, so I'm going to pick penguin. What genre of music would you use to describe your worth? Ethic? What? Classically hardworking. Chip tunes. Punk, I'm not dead, just resting. Or children sing along. Children sing along is the most accurate for my job right now, which is hilarious. Um, I don't know. What should we choose, guys? Chip tunes or classically hardworking, or should we just go with children sing along?
Alright, I think I'm gonna go with children's sing along. On a scale from 1 to 10, write me as an interviewer. I give him a 7.5. I wish there was like a 8.5. But I don't want to give him 1, because that would be awful. And I don't want to give him a 10, because he wasn't that great. So I'm going to go with 7.5. Draculas or Teenage Wolves? Teenage Wolves! Wolves! Just kidding with the- Don't- Don't play me like that. I watched Team Wolf. Interesting. Looks down at his coffee cup and tilts it idly towards him. Looks like he's enraptured with the foam as it drips from the side of the cup. A drop of coffee spills onto the saucer. Um, that's kind of rude, considering he was like, "Hey, this makes the best coffee." He's not even drinking it. He's just spilling it. Rude. I suppose you'll do then. Does does that mean I got the job? You're quite astute. That doesn't really answer my question. You can start tomorrow. Wow, thank you. Don't run off just yet. I have paperwork for you. Oh yeah, of course. Graves pushes away the table. From the table. Coffee cup in hand. He naps my saucer, even though I'm not quite finished, and sneaks down the stairs. He returns as if he never left, trading the empty coffee cups for a small stack of papers and a pen. He places them in front of me. So what will my job be? We'll see. That- <laughs> Okay, so I'm guessing pretty much everyone here has gone through the job process. And this is just- it's just funny. I know it's a game. But like, that's not how- that's not how things work. That's just not. And I keep knocking over things. Okay. I feel like I'm in a daze. Too much information and too much coffee. I take the papers and skim them, signing pretty much anywhere I see an X and a line. What's it all for? Why is there so much? Probably taxes and stuff. I don't know. And who cares? I've got a job. I push the papers back towards Graves, and he eagerly scoops them off the table. Perfect. We open at 11. Be here at 8. We'll have you help with the morning prep. <laughs> My displeasure must be pretty apparent because his mouth cracks into another smirk. You can work a later shift after training. You won't have to deal with all those crisp mornings for too long. Er, okay, that's fine. Now go. I have a lot of work to do before tomorrow. You need to get to work fixing that sleep schedule of yours. Okay, okay. Seems lost in his own world now. Pouring over the paperwork I just filled out. Guess there's all sorts of tax stuff you have to deal with, with deal with hiring people. Why would he do it so casually? Well, whatever. Not my problem. Well, if you get hired to Valve, it might work like that. They're pretty freestyle. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, did I already point out this cat that's like reading on the floor? Not reading, but like, laying on a book. <laughs> I head down the stairs, Landry's back. He looks uncomfortable, waiting at the foot of the balcony, but perks up when he sees me. So? I'll see you tomorrow, co-worker. Oh! Oh, congratulations! You can meet everybody else tomorrow morning. I'll make sure they're all ready for a meeting when you get in. How many people work here? Well, there's me, Graves, of course. You met Hayes, Finley, Mason, Reese. That's it. It shouldn't take too long to get to know them. Okay, great. I'll see you tomorrow then. Oh, a host! Thank you so much, Esther. Great. See you. Oh no! Thank you so much. Wahoo! I'm gonna live it up a little. I'm gonna paint this town red. I finally have a job. Now we get to the intro.